Yo, what's up guys, it's Handy Design. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I like to blend my subjects in. You can see we have this composition set up, and what I'm going to be doing is adding shadows and highlights to make him look like he's really in the scene. Try to make him look as realistic as possible. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so if you want to know how to get this far, how to sort of turn him from this into this, I have several videos on my YouTube channel already. You can go look up the player treatment videos but let's get into it okay so you're gonna right click on this half circle right here it's gonna bring up your adjustments and you're gonna click on levels this right one you just want to make him a bit darker not completely black but you want to make him a bit darker something like that should do right click on that and clipping mask now it's just on our player and then press control I so you can't see it Make sure you're on your white brush right here. Your flow is at about six. <coughs> okay, so what that's gonna do is you can see if we paint on, it's gonna make him darker. So you're gonna have to look at the picture and define your light source, right? So our light source is coming from right here, this right side. So this light is gonna be hitting right here on this side of his face. So this side is gonna be a bit darker than that side. Obviously, it's daytime, it's not night, so we don't want it completely black, but we're gonna go ahead and make it darker and I'm just gonna walk out through so we'll start at these feet here we're gonna make the feet uh, pretty dark actually because you can see the um, foot shadows right there are dark so we're gonna have to sort of blend that in a little bit and then on this side over here we're just gonna go ahead and keep this darker and I'll probably time-lapse this guys I'll let y'all know if I have any key points throughout the um, throughout the time-lapse but it's kind of self-explanatory I think just anywhere away from the light is darker so I'm gonna do this and um, I'll see y'all when I'm done Alright guys, there we go with our first levels layer right there. You can see, like I said, just away from that light. Hopefully that time lapse helped you uh, see exactly where I like to sort of put all my shadows and everything. <coughs> but the next thing I like to do is right click this half circle again, then click gradient map right here. We're going to clipping mask this again and click. make sure you click on this part go up here and on our darkest part you can see we clicked right here these are going to be our shadows we're going to go to our darkest part of the sky so looks like up here would be our darkest part and then over here we're going to go to our brightest part which is just going to be this white over here so our CJ looks like this now if we turn this opacity down to about we could turn it down to about 8 sometimes it works at about 15 this, since it's blue, sort of makes him look like he's in the distance. So we're going to turn it down very low. That's going to blend him in <coughs> pretty good right there. Um, after we're done with our gradient map, we're just going to select below it again. And we're going to go on our levels again. And we are going to, this time, turn them all the way down. Almost, just to barely see it, about right there. Control I. We're just going to make parts darker that we think need to be darker, right? So we're going to go over here and we're going to make this darker right here. And just areas that are sort of that um, there's no real right or wrong, right? Just whatever you think. So I think in here, like on the inner thighs right here, these are not going to ha have much uh, sunlight hitting them. So I'm going to go ahead and paint these darker, right? Okay. 
there you go guys you can see after we hit those darker spots and I hope you can sort of tell what exactly I was doing here um, I'll try to explain it really quick so since this lights coming in from this direction and this is completely blocking this light so you can see we put this black right here this is completely blocking that light that won't hit this at all as well as this since it's coming from his back it will not hit this at all some of that light might be able to get around right here and then uh, some of this light from over here would be able to hit this part of his jersey which is why I didn't color it darker right his inner thighs obviously are blocking this light <coughs> it would definitely be able to hit his legs right here and uh, his shoulder pads and stuff but that'll be it for the levels right now we're gonna go ahead and do our highlights so what I like to do is go to our right click our half circle brightness and contrast and we're gonna raise up our brightness all the way create clipping mask control I just like that and I like to go with the higher flow brush because you can be a little bit reckless on this and then just erase it so when you paint on I paint on with my white then I can press X just to erase it really quickly so I'll do a little bit <coughs> right here so basically what I'm gonna be doing is you can see how I'm hitting the outside of this jersey and I'm also hitting this um these sort of wrinkles right here right and then I'm making my brush larger alt right click drag your mouse to the right and left and you can make it bigger press X and you can erase some just like that we're gonna go ahead and paint on these highlights in areas that we think should be highlighted okay I'm gonna time lapse this as well and I will see you guys when I'm finished there we go with our first set of highlights actually we're gonna hit some right down here just a little bit more on this shoe right here yeah okay so there we go and let's erase some on these lips that looks kinda weird alright <laughs> there we go with our first set of highlights for our next set what we're gonna do is I just like to use two layers because you can see like I don't have to use two levels but I just like to because on this first one I'm gonna do a more subtle sort of general levels and this one's gonna be more intense focused levels right and this is just how I learned to do it how I know a lot of other people do it doesn't have to be this way but besides the point the next thing we're gonna do is right click I like to press solid color put it on white and then put it on overlay and then control I and this is gonna be our um, this is gonna be our sort of more general less focused right so we're just gonna be adding some glows in here basically from this light source so we're sort of just brightening stuff up stuff close to where it, there should be highlights right kind of don't know if I'm doing a good job explaining that but um, we're just gonna go off of the highlights we already have and sort of just make them more subtle okay so I will see you guys right when I finish doing this Alright, you can see that's how we're looking right after that. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to, one second, we're going to right click our half circle, hue and saturation, lightness, all the way up. Right click, clipping mask, control I, white brush, flow, we're going to set to 100 this time. This is going to obviously just paint white. So what we're going to do is go around 
our brightest areas and just paint white just like this on our edges we can make our brush a bit bigger and then paint down a little bit make it bigger X and then you can erase that so it's just sort of blending it in this is gonna make our sort of rim light effect should look pretty good at the end and again this all dra drag method definitely definitely speeds up the process a lot so yeah The next thing, and also last thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to create, I know this is a tedious process, but this is just how I like to do it. The next thing we're, we're going to want to do is create another solid color. This will be the last thing we actually do, the final step. After we do that, we're going to set on overlay again, Control I, X, so we're on our white brush, and then our flow at about 6 and all we want to do is just create a sort of glow we might actually set this on linear dodge add yeah all we want to do is we don't want to make it too um too obvious that it's there if you know what i mean but we just want to sort of make it look like it's glowing off of him so we're just going to click just like this all around. And this will sort of get it, give a, an atmospheric effect, I guess. I don't do this on all of my um, on all of my art, just some. If I have this sort of bright sunlight source, then I'll do it, but if it's really dynamic highlights, then I won't do it all the time. But <clears throat> here we go, guys. I I know it's a timely process and uh, definitely tedious, but this is just how I like to do it. I think uh, you know, I think it works and I think it looks good. So here is I'll give you all a little before and after. So there we go after. So there we go before, and then our after. Yep. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see y'all. Peace.